Hi, my amazing planner people. It's Jess for my magical planner. And today I'm going to be doing my weekly spread for the week of January 10th through the 16th in my Harriet Wright Designs planner. This is a seven by nine or a five wide planner. It is undated, which makes it really easy to use it in various different ways. So this week I have picked out this kit called Goals from Two Little Bees and it's absolutely beautiful. So I love this two box spread here and the desk is amazing. I wish that was how my desk looked. It does not. <laughs> I love all the little details that she's included here, like this typewriter keyboard, which, oh my gosh, this is on my wish list if I can figure out how to use it with my laptop because I don't know that I need to keep it. Uh, yeah. But I think the aesthetic and the functionality of them are so fun. Oh, anyhow. I love that you have like the sticky note with like of the foil outline there. I also love that not only do you have pens here, but you have like a brand name on the pens. Like the amount of detail that she put into this is awesome. I love this sentiment here. Set your goals, make your plans, chase your dreams. Since one of my big videos that I'm going to be putting up this week is a vision board, I immediately thought of this kit. So that's the first page. Then you get this page that has all of your beautiful page flags. I mean, look at this one with the little desk. Oh, sorry, here we go. It's just so pretty. And then you have a couple of smaller kind of icons that you can use. This clipboard is very cute. I love the little bit of washi tape here. These are very iconic or, or what I think of for two little bees because they're kind of unique to them. And then you have two rows of half boxes, two rows of I think fourth boxes, and then a row of third boxes. So you have all of that. And then you have this page with more icons. I think the size is about the same here. You have a little bit of floral. You have these really cool boxes. Then you have your three bow checklist. You have three different types of headers. So no matter what your style is, you have those, or if you like to break it down, kind of like the Erin Condren, or I think Sadie stickers might also have light lines that you can do it in where you have the three sections. This works really well for that. Then you have your days of the week over here. You have two habit trackers. You have these little um, arrows that I, I love these. They're like the perfect size. So then you have your days of the week here, which these are not like your typical square. They're like paint swatches. So I think I maybe used them once before and I'm excited to kind of play around with them a little bit more. And then you have this box, which is perfect for putting a little message in there. These two down here that are kind of fancier boxes and then your bottom washi. So in addition to that, I did get, they have two additional pages. Um, I think this one is called the journaling page and maybe this one's the floral. But either way, they both come with floral elements and I think they're a great addition to kind of fill out the kit. And I think you could probably do everything you need with just that. But I did pull out a couple of additional stuff and I'll let you know as I use it where those are from and everything. All links will be down below for shops that I use. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some music on and I'll catch you in the voiceover. I truly enjoyed working with this kit. It had everything that I could think of. So I knew I wanted to bring the headers down a little bit so I could use some of that floral deco above them. So I'm trying to make a line across that I could use to put things on, opposed to the line that this planner actually has, which is really close to the top. However, I, I didn't get the measurements quite right. Like the line was straight but it was too far down, so it ends up not working. I did go back and just white out those lines at the top with my Tombow correction tape. And then I'm gonna pull in some deco at the top because I think this is a really fun trend right now. I just struggle a little bit with it because of the spacing at the top with this particular planner, which just doesn't give me a whole lot up at the top. So I didn't realize that there were actually seven of the floral headers. So I did kind of space out the last one that I thought I had over that space between Saturday and Sunday. 
I did end up actually liking having a little bit more space around those two. Then I went ahead and I pulled in some sparkle garlands from Sadie Stickers. I think I got these in a, a wrap bag or something, but they fit really well and I liked adding the little bit of sparkle and it was just a really fun element to kind of play around with and see the layering. I know it's not perfect, but it's definitely taking me in the right direction. So I also decided to pull in some of these hearts that I got from the Sadie Stickers Advent Calendar. I thought the combination of the two, especially with the florals, just seemed really nice. I did like putting down these day headers and the fact that they aren't a normal like boxy shape so I didn't worry as much about did I get them lined up perfectly and then I'm pulling in a few more of those heart clusters from the advent calendar I really liked the way that all came together there at the top I did struggle here for a minute because I'd pulled out some date stickers, but I didn't really like the way they looked, so I ended up pulling in these Make Me Make stickers instead. They're just matte numbers with nothing around them, and I felt that fit better with the swatches at the top because the circles I had pulled out just seemed too perfect, like too perfectly round, So, and they just kind of stuck out. So after I get that tops that I usually like to do my sidebar, I especially loved this box that they made and I wanted to just kind of put my January script sideways across it, have it just a little bit more fun this week. And I added in a couple more hearts in there and a couple more of those garlands just to add some more. And then I came across <laughs> this floral because it was placed separately on the page to make room. So I ended up using that below and then I put in my habit trackers. I ended up only using one of those habit trackers for water this week. And then below that, I used a little flag and overlaid a dinner script on top of it to write in my dinners. And then at the bottom, I just used that this week sticker. Now I'm going to use the more decorative of the two washies at the bottom here. And then I pulled in some of the trims from Sadie stickers to go above and below it because it just it looked perfect when I did that and I adored it. So and it's super simple to do. Sorry, this part's off screen. <laughs> Sometimes I forget where the camera is in relation to where I'm cutting or doing something because I like to have it close to me. But super simple to put together and it just, it gave it that nice finishing touch. Now I'm erasing that line that I had spent all that time putting in, but ended up not needing. <laughs> I always like to try and put my full boxes down at this point because if I don't, I forget that I have them and just don't use them. So I went ahead and did that. I'm not sure I actually like all the placements that I did of these in this one because usually I'm a little bit more uniformed. I also wanted to try and use some of the headers because I haven't really been using them. So I decided to put headers below and above each one of these full boxes. And for the most part, I like them. I don't think I really like the one I used on Thursday. It just looks a little weird to me. I adored the pink ones with like the simple line. I think that's more me than the floral ones or anything else. But the floral ones also added a nice contrast. So it kind of brings your eye to that point. Then on Monday, I'm putting in just one of her nice bigger boxes and I overlaid a nail polish bottle because I had a nail appointment that morning. Below that, I gave myself a little to-do list here because I had to go grocery shopping. I had to get the laundry. You know, I had to pick up the kitchen, that kind of thing. Then I had physical therapy, which I marked with that little flag. And I also made a note to do a post on YouTube that day. So I do have to come back later and I'll add in one more thing for Monday. Then we go into Tuesday. I really wanted to use these decorative half circles. The lower one is actually from a fellow Sticker Girl PR member and it was off of her freebie and I just really wanted to try it because I've been kind of liking playing around with circles recently. And then I add a little floral at the bottom as well as one of those chase lounges from Crafts by Towie to mark my therapy appointment. Then I had lunch with a friend that I wanted to mark so I pulled in some of her silverware there in that really pretty box. Then I just put down one of her flags to mark picking up some meds. I do end up putting stuff in 
that actually the decorative full box because my son had an after school thing that he told me after the fact so I had to add it in somewhere and then I did a box just so I could remember to check in with my oldest on school because he had a little bit of issue actually making sure things get turned in and then my husband had a really important meeting that night with a adjoining township over his fiber stuff and then on the 12th, he flew to Boston for the day. Um, the company he works for is actually out of Boston. So he just flew in for the day to be at the office. And I had a lot of fun using this joy of planning little laundry scene to mark doing laundry that day. <laughs> Not that I like doing laundry, but I thought it was kind of cute. And then the airplanes are actually from Letters to Apollo. And I... I love these little airplanes. I am so glad I picked them up. Then below laundry, I mark Dan had a trombone test. So he's getting ready for solo ensemble and he had to play for his band instructor to make sure that they were okay with the piece of music that he chose and that they felt like he was going in the right direction. So I also used a Crafts by Towie little musical note there, which I think is really, really pretty. I marked Dan had his tutor there and then Jarrett flew home. On to Thursday. I, so I keep on trying to use the circle <laughs> and I don't know, it just wasn't looking right. So I end up pulling in one of the midi boxes, I think they're called, to mark Emily's OT physical therapy appointment. This was, I think her first one and it, was really it was really challenging they had to answer a lot of questions and stuff i really wanted to use this clipboard as well but that also just didn't look right it had some other things so i put down this little scene and then i overlaid a sticker guru script on top of it all my pr stuff for st sticker guru will be listed below for you guys and then after that i used a box to mark my own physical therapy it was just a big therapy day <laughs> And then Megan also had a lesson and I brought in some skates from White Deer Stationery and then put a little floral on top of them. I'm not sure if I like that 100% and I also put in a little bow. But yeah, the bow definitely wasn't my smartest idea. I think I don't really like the way that ended up looking. And then on Friday at the top there, I made a mark clean house just with another one of those scripts from sticker guru and then I have a little checklist there so I could do things like make sure I did my PT exercise do brushing hair with Emily which is part of her OT exercises and edit videos below that I marked Megan's lesson by turning that square on its side and making it a diamond which I really really am liking that right now and then I marked with the clipboard at the bottom and a white deer stationary little hockey puck thing there that we had hockey that night on Saturday, I, I really loved that little flag with the planning stuff in it. So I went ahead and marked planning time there because I usually end up doing my spreads on Saturday. And then also marked hockey again in the evening with those two circles, which I finally figured out how to use them. <laughs> and then on Sunday, I go, went ahead and did another one of those diamond boxes this time I overlaid it on top of just a normal box and we usually do a family movie on the weekend so that's what that's from and then I used the heart to write in post on Instagram now I'm just going back and actually filling in all those things that I just told you about I didn't make my dinner menu this was always a little challenging for me but Monday we did frozen pizza Tuesday I made beef stew Wednesday we had turkey chili and Thursday, I wrote down that we had teriyaki pork bowls, but I don't think that actually happened. I can't remember now what we had. And then on Friday, it was kind of a leftovers night and stuff. So I made chili baked potatoes for anybody who wanted them. And some of the kids didn't. And then Saturday was leftovers and Sunday was ham, potatoes, and veggie. So if you need inspiration for your own weekly menu, that's what we ended up doing. I think that's pretty much everything that I have on here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there for more planning videos. But until next week, I'll see you guys real soon.